welcome to Art by Clark. I'm Mrs. Clark, and we are making another most excellent picture today. Today is going to be all about Vincent van Gogh, and we're going to do his wheat fields with crows. It is known to be one of his last paintings made in July of 1890, and I found it to be very cool and bright, and I thought it would be a nice one to make. So, what do we need? We need a piece of paper. We also need crayons or pastels, whichever one you have around the house. And then we need an eraser. Hmm. Why do we need that? I'll get right back at you for that one. And if you want a pencil for drawing, I'm going to draw with the crayons, but you are welcome to draw with the pencil. So I'm going to give you a moment to gather up all these supplies and then we'll get started. First things first, let's talk about the elements in this lesson. I see lines, shapes, definitely depth. So I see space, color, lots of color, texture in the way that you may be coloring it. And I think those are the elements I see, but there may be many more. There are seven total. So again, this is Vincent van Gogh. I have taught this for some of the younger kids when it came to Starry Night and also for the sunflowers. And one thing you have to know about Vincent is that he is an impressionist. He doesn't want it to look real, but he wants intense colors. So when you see a moon or a sun, he wants it bright. The field should be really bright. And he wants to get that feeling of intensity in it. So you have to understand that, especially with the fact that Vincent was a very tragic artist, is what I always say. So feel free to look him up. He's very interesting. So we are going to grab our eight and a half by 11 paper, which is what I had around the house. And because of my printer, I'm going to slide this over and put my paper down. And I do have bigger paper for when I'm coloring the edges. So mom, dad, if you don't want your kids coloring all over your table, you may want to put some newspaper down. So first things first, I'm going to grab a crayon. Some would, would prefer a pencil. Don't blame you. Pencils have erasers and erasers are very nice. Just press lightly. And we're going to draw the horizon line. If you don't know what a horizon line is, it's a horizontal line that goes from one end to the other that divides the land from the sky. And sometimes there are things on the horizon line, but ours does not this time. So let's draw it a little, maybe a little higher than middle. I'm going to draw straight across. The earth is not made by man, so it definitely is not fully straight. So we do draw that. Now we're going to do the road. The road is basically one point perspective. I will be teaching that in another lesson, but basically you're going to put a point towards the middle. Did my best. And I'm going to do an S. And the whole thing about perspective is, the further you get away, the closer the lines get. And when you get closer, they're wider. It's an optical illusion. They also get lighter when they're further away too. That's atmospheric perspective. So we're going to get over. I'm going to probably keep my roads about here. I'm going to follow it. And there we go. So it looks like it's further back and wider over here, but narrower here. You may want to do a little different shape. That is absolutely fine. So that's all we need to draw. So I am going to draw my wheat field in a bright yellow. I'm going to do my sky with blue, possibly a little purple. Oh, and wait a minute. I forgot my sun or moon. I'm pretty sure it's a moon. And my road will be in brown. You may have different colors. That is fine. I'm going to color. I'm also going to put a piece of paper behind. 
And I'm going to speed this up. You don't need to watch me color. And then we'll come back together and we'll discuss what to do next. So let's get started. And you always start with the lightest color first. We're back. And as you see, I colored the yellow, the brown, and the blue sky. Not very happy with my road. I kind of wish my road was a little bit more like that. So I'm going to actually fix it. Now you might be thinking, wait a minute, Mrs. Clark, there's some black there, but I'm going to show you something. First, I'm going to outline it. And I know you might be seeing that. But now it's time to do the details. And we're going to use some black. If you have a darker brown, that's excellent as well. But basically, we're going to be adding the details. And this is a road. So we're going to add some lines. Ooh, that's an element. I'm going to go over that little spot that I did so that we can make it look really cool. And I'm just going to add some details to make my road look really dirt and bumpy. It's not supposed to be smooth. It's supposed to have nice little lines in it. So as you see, I just added some details to it. Now, and then it should be dark. I'm going to make it a little darker in the background. Now with my orange, I'm going to add squiggles to add that wheat. So I'm going to do dashes and then some squiggles, like some zigzags. And we're going to make this looking, look very wheat field-ish. And now over here, I'm going to do the same thing. Fill that field with wheat. And again, remember, Vincent wasn't about realism. He wanted it to have the appearance of it being wheat. So you see, I put a dirt road and the wheat. So now we need to work on that glow of the moon. So I'm going to add some white. Now, if you are using pastels, you could put white on here and rub it in and shade it. But I'm using crayon. So crayon's going to have to overlay. And you're going to have to go over this quite a bit. So I'm just going to keep going around, going around the moon when she comes. Or ring around Rosie. Just keep going and you're going to notice it's going to soften and if you never noticed moons do tend to have a glow to them and vincent was very big on it if you ever saw a starry night he wanted that glow now i'm not quite sure if this is the moon coming up with the sun still out but however it looks it looks awesome so 
Now you see that I got a nice glow going. I'm even going to add some lines, but still very subtle. So remember when I said you needed that eraser? Watch what it does. You can actually erase crayon. Now some will say, what? Trust me, you can. But you have to be very patient about it. Let me just take off everything off my eraser. And then I'm just going to go back and forth until I get a nice little line. Just want to get some nice little effects, but not too much. Just enough that it kind of gives that glow. Do one out here, maybe a little one right there. Go over it a bit to make it a little lighter. And isn't that cool? It's like it's making this little soft glow. And then I'll go back with my blue little to add a little bit of depth to it to put some lines in also. And then go back and add my white and work on that glow. And look at that. Probably go over my um, my road a little bit more. Just make some final touches to it. Go over my black lines. Grab my other crayon. And we need one more thing. The title is called Wheat Field with Crows. Now remember, Vincent doesn't want real looking birds. We know how to do birds. I know you know how to do bird, but we're going to actually make M's, round M's. And let's wipe off any of the crayon that may have gotten off. And here we go with doing our little M's. I'll do one right here. I'll do one uh, here. Okay, broke the crayon, it happens. I'll go to my bigger one now. There we go. I'll do another one here. Crayons are very soft, so if you break one, oh well, no boo-hooing here. So here's a crow, here's a crow. And if you notice, they look like little M's, little arches. I'll do one over here. And let's see, do one right here. Do one right over here. Maybe one right here. And then we'll go up here and we'll do a bunch of them in the sky. Because these crows are flying. Getting pretty close to that moon. You could probably put one in it if you wanted to. And look at that. I am going to take my eraser and just fix a little bit here. Put some yellow in there just to touch up a couple little spots. I know that when you draw with crayon, it sometimes comes out a little bit. Let's push that up. Much better. And then do my little grassy there again. There we go. Look at that. All right. So last step, we write our name. I usually write it in the corner. Important to sign your beautiful work. And you made a Vincent Van Gogh's Wee Field with Crows. Now, I had fun. You believe we converted a white piece of printed paper into a beautiful work of art. Look at that. Beautiful work of art. Now, you should be proud you did that. And there's so many more lessons I'm going to be teaching you. And I cannot wait until our next one. So until then, I'll see you later. Bye.